Hi everyone, welcome back to You, Me and the Family, or if you're new here, welcome. I'm Hannah, I'm a mum of four, and they range from 23 months to 15 years, and we live in the southeast of England. Today, I've been to B&M, and I've got a few Christmas presents, birthday presents, and a few little household items, and I thought I'll just show you what I've got, in case, so I can give you ideas if you have any children, or something you haven't seen before and you can go out and get it so i'll start over with the household whole, i can't get the words out i'm sorry household items and then i'll work my way across the table to so i can show you what i've picked up so i'm really struggling with my words today but i am loving this lenore exotic bloom love so i've got the whole scent range here I've got the scent boosters, the mega pack. They probably won't last very long with me. I'm a bit happy with them and put a few too many in the washing machine. I've got a big 30 wash Lenore Exotic Bloom fabric softener. I got the crease release. This is fantastic. Literally, the school shirts. I wash them, I hang them up in the doorway and I spray a bit of this on. Not only does it leave them smelling absolutely gorgeous, the creases drop right out and it saves you so much hassle ironing shirts, like school shirts. And I'm pretty sure a lot of mums can relate to relate with me with that. I am so sorry, I'm struggling really badly with my words now. I'm getting a bit tongue-tied. But yeah, the Lenore Crease Release, I really do recommend for mums, now that the kids are all back to school, school shirts, absolutely fantastic for that. And then I got the extra large pack, 42 washes of the Love Bold washing tabs. That's it. Get the words out, Hannah. Right, we'll start down here. Two packs of double A batteries. You've got 12 in a pack. They were two for eight pounds and Christmas is coming. And I use a lot of batteries with either all the kids' toys as well as all my Christmas toys and candles that I have light up around because I do tend to try and use um, battery powered candles rather than all candles around the house because it's not very practical with having a two year old running around so that's them, two packs of double A's two packs of the triple A's for toys and everything I got the, sorry about the light above, we got the pomegranate and grapefruit fairy washing up liquid. Smells lovely. I saw this one, let's lift it up and you can see. It's limited edition for Breeze and it's mango and raspberry. And I swear I could use this as body spray. It is absolutely lovely. If you like fruity fragrances, this you need to go get this. It's great. Um, let's stand this one up. Steve got this. It's the good one, all natural power cleaning paste. I don't know why he picked it up, but he got it. It was on the end of an aisle. I think it's new because it had other products, but um, he chose it. Um, made from natural uh, ingredients, clean. Yeah, you can all read that, guys. <laughs> yeah, he chose that. He picked that up so he can use that. And then carpet cleaner, could never have enough of this stuff with kittens about and toddlers. Magic stuff this is. My sister showed me it once and I haven't gone back. Got them. And then I've got two packets of eight flameless LED tea lights. These are great to have around if you have um, little lanterns at Christmas time. Or you just want a bit of extra light around the, around the front room or room. But without the light on, if that makes sense. These give off quite a lot of light for just a tiny thing. These come with the little batteries, but then you can buy the batteries as well. So they're a lot safer to have around rather than candles with toddlers and everything. So that's why I've got two packets of them. I've got some birthday and Christmas presents now. So we have got Chloe's birthday in the next couple of days. So this is a Christmas present for her. It's the Seven Days of Masks. She is into all her beauty products now. Face masks and makeup and all that lot. So that's why I've got her this for Christmas. 
she told me the other day she wanted an aromatherapy diffuser and I found this one in there. It was £22, but it changes colour, so I thought she'd love that. It would set a nice, calm, full atmosphere for her. I've just got to go on Amazon and order her some essence oils. She'll get that for her birthday. Steve picked up this multi-pack of monsters. They're in the fridge, so this is just an empty box. Can't take him anywhere. He always has to have a monster. I got this game for Shane as a little joke present. Sorry about that, guys. Hayley just walked in and she shouldn't have because there's presents on the table. Yeah, I got this for Shane. It's like a bush tucker trial. And then they can try bugs and crickets and all that lot. I thought he'd have fun with that. And I'm sure he'd get us adults playing that Christmas day. Um, we'll shoot up here. Shane went, this is again for Shane. It's Toxic Waste Sour Candy Selection. He got, I think it was these ones from the shop down our town a couple of weeks back. And he just would not stop going on about them. And was offering them out to everyone. So I thought this would be right up his street. He'd probably absolutely love it. I think it was £5. But if you want to know, just hit me a bell in the comments. And I'll find the receipt and let you know. The two cars at the bottom. They were part of the two for £20. They do light up. They're big and bulky. I got them for Nathan for his birthday present that's going to be in October. Oh, let's wait for them to shut up. Although, to be truthful, all he's going to do is spin the wheels. Like, he'll turn them over and just spin the wheels and press the buttons. So, that was two for ten pound, uh, £20. So, I got him that one. And then we got him this one as well. Where it carries four cars, so they all come off. And he can push this about and play with the wheels. Because obviously he's growing out of some of his baby toys. But with his suspected autism, he likes to just sit and spin things and that lot as well. So although he's going to be two, he might possibly be um, slightly delayed in his development. We won't find out until we have his assessment. So they're what we've got him for his birthday. And then if we come down here, we'll start again. I've got a big rose gold mirrored C for Chloe for her decoration for her bedroom. They had all the letters and I started spelling out her name. I was going to get her the whole, the whole word to spell her name. Got right to the last letter E and they didn't have it. I was like, oh, for God's sake. And they didn't even have it in any other colour. How can you not have an E? So I literally just got her a C and she can have that in her room. I've got this for Steve for Christmas. I'm going to hide this in a minute. It's the ultimate couples quiz game. I thought it'd be a laugh for us to play with another couple or my friends at Christmas time. Another weird and bizarre present for Nathan is these wireless LED light switches. Um, Steve's putting together a little sensory board for him. He'll attach these and literally as Nathan trips the switch... They go on. Oh, sorry. I didn't realise they were that bright. But he will be happy with them for hours, literally just clicking it on and off, as well as the light. Um, Yeah, I'll probably only put one of them on the board at a time. Because I, they might do my head in. And then over here, I'll show you these and then get them out of the way. I've got him two hula hoops, two different sizes. I, don't, I can't justify how big they are. They're not very big. Um, But... He wouldn't use them as hula hoops. He'll just run around spinning them and rolling them about. Because he plays with these at snap. But he plays with the bigger ones. So I thought I'd just pick him up two of them to have at home and play with. I'll put them down there out of the way for a minute. We thought this was going to be cool for him. It's a disco colour changing bath light. As you can see, it lights up in the bath. We'll turn the lights down. We won't turn them off so it's not completely black in the bathroom. And he will have this going and he will well and truly love it. He loves his baths anyway. He always has. And you can see what it looks like in the bath. 
from day one when Nathan was born, he has never, ever cried in the bath. Even his first baby bath, which is quite shocking because not many babies don't cry when they get put in the bath. So that's that. I got him a giant windmill. I don't know how I'm going to... There we go. I don't know how I'm going to secure this to something. I was thinking of getting my dad to concrete it into a pot, but then that could be rather heavy. And I can't exactly put it out in the garden now for him to enjoy because the weather's turning cold. So I might just have to poke it in between my sofa cushions so he can play with it and spin it. Because again, let's do this. He just likes to um, spin things. I can't spin it one-handed. But it's a big one. <laughs> put it down there. And then last but not least, he has got um, That's Not My Dinosaur and That's Not My Something sensory books. And he loves them. But he also loves, like, um, the rubber on the underneath of sleep suits, the socks, you know, the anti-grip stuff. He loves that. Same as the print, the rubbery print that you can get on T-shirts. He'll sit there. He will throw my washing on the floor to find something like that. And then he will climb on the sofa and he will sit there twiddling it. So me and Steve found these books and we thought he would absolutely love them. Because they're all rubbery textured, unlike the um, That's Not My Books. They were three fifty each, and they all have different textures, but they're all rubbery. Which is absolutely fantastic. Just show you this one. No doubt I'm probably going to be reading these over and over again. But um, there was only these four in my B&M. But if you, if you go to a and m and you see more, can you let me know so that I can keep going to my and m and see if I can complete the range? we got the Monster, Spider. Oh, it's Never Touch. Never Touch a Monster. Never Touch a Spider. Never Touch a Dinosaur. And Never Touch a Dragon. And like I said, you can see... They're all different textures. That one flops up and this is a different prickly one. That's a bit different. But yeah, we thought they were absolutely fantastic. 350, good quality books. So that is everything I bought from b and I'm afraid, yes, it is towards the Christmas. I'm trying to get ready in that and birthdays. Doesn't look a lot, but it set us back quite a bit. Um, If you like this type of video please hit the like button and subscribe. And if you do subscribe, can you hit the notification button and then YouTube will let you know every time I upload a video. And if you do like this type of video, go check out all my other videos. I've got loads of hauls from Home Bargains, B&M, The Range, as well as food hauls, showing you what I buy for the family in and out of an average week. And I also do meal prep, like meals of the week and what I pack my kids for their school lunches. You can get some ideas there. So, sorry, that keeps shining on you. But that's everything from me tonight, guys. Take care, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.